everyone, Sydney St. James, Season 8 and Episode 13, The Parable of the Good Samaritan. Howdy, y'all. Welcome back to the Sydney St. James Show, coming to you straight from the heart of Georgetown, Texas, where the sweet tea's always cold and the smiles are always warm. Today, I've got a story that'll ruffle your feathers in the best possible way, so Pull up a chair and lend me your ears. Now, let me paint y'all a picture. It's a bright, sunny afternoon in our bustling little city of Georgetown, where the streets are alive with the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Folks are scurrying around like ants at a picnic, and the air is filled with the sounds of traffic and the smell of barbecue wafting from the local joints. Enter our man, Adam. He's a hot shot lawyer. He's sharper than a prickly pear cactus and as busy as a one-legged man in a kicking contest. He's striding down the street, mind buzzing with court cases and legal jargon, when suddenly he stumbles upon a sight that stops him dead in his tracks. Right there on the sidewalk is a feller who's been roughed up, looking pretty bad, looking more pitiful than a wet hen. The poor guy's just lying there while folks are just passing on by. It's like he's invisible, and Adam's heart drops quicker than a catfish in a well, and he remembers the good old parable of the Good Samaritan. Well, quicker than you can say, bless your heart, Adam's down on his knees, fussing over the injured man like a mother hen with her chicks. He's on the phone, calling for an ambulance faster than a jackrabbit, all the while offering comforting words like, hang in there, buddy. Help's on the way. As the ambulance pulls up, with sirens a blaring, Adam hops in like a true Texas hero and rides along to the hospital. He's making sure the injured man gets the care that he needs, acting more like a guardian angel than a lawyer. Now, let me tell you folks, this act of kindness starts a ripple effect through Georgetown. News of Adam's good deeds spreads faster than a gossip at a beauty salon. People are talking. They're inspired. They start looking at each other a little kinder, thinking maybe they too can be a good Samaritan in their own kind of way. Adam, well, he's changed too. He's now volunteering, helping folks who've been knocked down by life and advocating for the voiceless, He's a living, breathing reminder that a little bit of passion goes a long way. Now this parable is in response to the question, who is my neighbor, posed to Jesus. The story illustrates that one's neighbor is not just someone from one's own community or social circle, but anyone that needs help help. The concept of loving your neighbor as yourself is central to the message emphasizing the importance of treating all people with kindness and compassion. Furthermore, by making the Samaritan the hero of the story, the parable teaches that compassion and kindness should transcend social, ethnic, and religious boundaries. So as we wrap up this heart-tugging tale from our charming little town of Georgetown, Texas, remember, y'all, it doesn't take much to make a world of difference. A helping hand, a kind word, that's all it takes to be someone's hero. Well, butter my biscuit, folks. That's just about wraps up our time together today, but don't you worry your little pretty little heads. We've got more yarns to spin and tails taller than a Texas sunflower coming your way next week 
on the Sydney St. James Show. Y'all won't want to miss a single minute. I promise you that. So next week, we're going to dive into a story so juicy, it'll make a watermelon jealous. We're talking about mystery, intrigue, and a dash of good old Southern charm that'll tickle your little funny bone and warm your heart faster than a hot toddy on a chilly night. So mark your calendars, set your alarms, tie a string around your finger, and do whatever you got to do to remember to tune in. You're going to be sitting on the edge of your sheet. See, I guarantee it. We might even have a surprise guest or two. And no, I ain't just whistling Dixie on that one. Remember, life's a hoot. So let's enjoy the ride together. This is Sydney St. James. Signing off with a tip of my hat and a wink of my eye. Keep spreading that Southern hospitality. And don't forget to laugh a little. It's good for the soul. This is Sydney St. James signing off with a heart full of joy and a spirit uplifted. Remember, each day is a gift to sprinkle forgiveness and love in our lives turning ordinary moments into extraordinary blessings. And before you go, can I ask a small favor? Please hit that bell below to like this story. And if you're really feeling inspired, hit that subscribe button to our channel. We'd love for you to follow us. So we'll see you later on the flip-flop or around the corner or over your shoulder. This is Sydney St. James. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Peace.